Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a nice thorough stretching routine for you. So this is a combination of Pilates, yoga, and just basic stretching. So I'm just freestyling it through this. We're just gonna be moving through nice and fluid and you can use this as a cool down and stretch if you're looking for something very thorough. You can also use this um, to stretch before bed if you're looking to wind down and relax a little bit. It's very good for that. It's also very good for increasing your flexibility and just general range of motion. So you don't need any equipment at all for this. Let's go ahead and get started. So throughout this stretching routine, I want you to do the best that you can to try and just clear your mind. Even if you have a lot of things going on, try to just take this little amount of time to just not think about those things that are stressing you out. It can make a really big difference. So otherwise, we're going to stand with feet about shoulder width apart. Take a nice deep breath in. Stretch your hands out over your head. Come to the center, lean a little bit to the right. Rock over to that other side. Come right back to the center. Now stretch your hands out, really exaggerate it, even down to your fingertips. Come slowly down, then fold forward. Come down to your toes, or as close as you can to your toes, and then rock back and forth. So you're going to start at one foot, and then nice and slow, you're just kind of walking over to the other foot. So throughout this whole routine, none of these stretches should cause you any pain. So a little bit of tension and tightness is okay. Very slight discomfort is okay, but you should not be in pain. So do the best you can and respect those, um, those limitations that your body, if it tells you to stop, if you reach a point of pain, just let off a little. All right, now come back up, rolling back up, bring those arms back up as well. Rock to one side. So you feel a nice stretch along your side here. Come back to the center. Stretch. Now go to the other side. Alright, now this time you're going to round all the way down until you fold forward. Come down to that toe. Walk over to the center down to that other toe, and then we're going to round up the opposite side. Now repeat in the opposite direction. So you can move at whatever pace that you want to. You can use me as a rough guide if you like. And we'll do one more in each direction. All right, now right here, you're gonna lean forward. So this point, this toe is pointed forward. Get your arms out there. Lean into a warrior just a little bit. Now rock forward, rest your arm on that bent knee. And roll over so you're facing that foot that's stretched out. Rotate that other foot so you can lean forward. Lean into it as much as you need to to feel a stretch in that leg that's straight. Now press back up. So keep this leg, this leg straight this time so you can feel a stretch through this, the back of this thigh as well as your lower back. A little bit through this calf. Now bend. Press back up and repeat that on the opposite side. So this time this toe is pointed forward, arms outstretched. Remember to breathe. And right now slowly tip forward. Stretch that chest out a little bit. Now roll forward to face that foot. Rotate that other foot. Lean into it so you feel a good hip flexor stretch in that straight leg. You can also rock back and forth and get a little, a little bit of a calf stretch out of it as well. Right now straighten that leg. Lean back so you get a good stretch out of this hamstring. So if any of these positions are too difficult, don't get discouraged. Just move into a stretch that you do feel comfortable with and jump right back in as soon as you can. Alright, 
now come back up to the center. Get those hands stretched over your head. Walk them there for just a second. Pull your spine and as if you're trying to separate yourself or elongate your body. Now come back down. This time you're going to clasp your hands behind your back and let them fall over your head so you get a good shoulder stretch as well. Alright, slowly come back up. Alright, now we're going to stretch our necks a little bit. So you're going to rock to one side. Nice and slow, don't force anything. Come to the center. Go to the opposite side. Back to the center. It's just back and forth. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Alright, now we're going to look from left to right. So come to the center and turn your head as much as you comfortably can. Hold it, push into it for just a second, really gently. Now come to the center and repeat in the opposite direction. Again, just back and forth, nice and easy. No rush, no pressure. These muscles take a beating when it comes to, um, well actually all kinds of different things, desk work, computer jobs, looking at your phone all day. It's really easy to um, fall into these patterns of really bad posture. It creates all kinds of imbalances, so stretching helps. One more to the opposite side. All right, now we're gonna roll nice and slow, circular motion from one side to the other. So tuck that chin down to your chest as much as you can and round it down slowly. So you should feel a nice stretch through the back of your neck here. Alright, now we're going to move to our shoulders. So take a nice big circle back, really exaggerate it, come all the way around and then go the opposite direction. Again, really big, exaggerating that range of motion. You might hear some cracks and pops in there. As long as there's no pain, it's not usually cause for concern. So as long as it's pain free, it probably feels good. All right, we're gonna do the stretch to ch uh, stretch our chest and our upper backs now. So lean forward and then reach, push your chest back, but reach forward with your arms. Really exaggerate it again, then come nice and wide, nice and slow, and do that in the opposite direction. So you're pulling your arms back. So this time you're st uh, stretching through the front of your chest. Now when we lean forward again, you're gonna feel that in your upper back. You can even eke back and forth a little left and right to get that stretch even more in those tight places. And open back up. Alright, we've done a little bit for our necks and our shoulders. Now we're going to drop down to the mat and work on our core a little bit. So get ready, we're going to walk down, walk down nice and slow, fold forward, and walk all the way down nice and slow, enjoy this stretch on the way down. You can always bend your knees if you need to. Down into a plank, drop to your knees. So now we're going to be doing a cat's cow. So we're going to arch up, 
Again, really exaggerate this motion. You should feel stretching through your back when you do this. A little bit through this uh, upper body as well. Now exhale and move the opposite direction. So you're going to sink your butt out behind you and sink your chest. So you're going to get a good stretch through your core as well as your lower back. Come up the opposite direction. Keep going back and forth. Like I said, you can go at your own pace. Just use me as a rough guide if you like. Just listen to your body. Try to relax. Alright, one more of each of those. sink back into a child's pose. So you should feel this through your upper body especially because you're kind of pressing down your head to the mat through those arms. You should also feel it through your back. I now move forward slowly. We're going to drop using our triceps like a tricep push up here slowly down to the mat and then press back up. So you get a good core stretch. So make sure you're not hunching your shoulders up to your ears. Press them down and away from yourself and just lean up enough that you feel a good stretch through your stomach. I'll slowly lower it back down. I'm going to go back to that child pose. So nice fluid movement here. Back and forth a few reps. Back up, peel off the mat there. All right, this time while we're here in child's pose, I'm gonna take one arm and thread it through the other and then lean down. You can Even if you can get your face on the mat, as much as you need to to feel a nice stretch through that arm that you've threaded through. We're going to switch sides. Thread that other arm through there. Now come back up, fold forward again, lie flat on your stomach, now reach back and grab a leg and then the other, then pull back just a little bit so you get a little bit of a stretch through your quads, the front of your thighs, as well as your chest, you're opening your chest up here, and the front of your body. You can relax when you need to, just come up nice and slow, take breaks when you need to, and even if you can't um, reach both legs, you can kind of alternate just one at a time here. So make sure you're not compressing that knee too bad, you're being nice and gentle with all these movements. Take your time. Alright, now I'm going to press back up. We're going to slide one foot forward here, one leg forward, fold it underneath your body, and then lean down, kind of sit like this, sit on it. So first we're going to sit up. So you're getting a good stretch through this front of your core here, as well as through this hip flexor and the back of this thigh that's folded underneath yourself. You can always uh, modify, you can bend these legs, it makes it quite a lot easier and not spread your legs as far apart that way. Just work with what you've got flexibility wise. Otherwise, you're sitting straight up. So first, we're going to lean forward. So this is going to really intensify that stretch on the bent leg. But lean forward as much as you can. And then once you're here, you can kind of just roll around. 
it's all very individual, so don't be afraid to kind of explore a little bit and see where it is that you are tight. Alright, slowly walk back up. Now we're going to take and open your body to that back leg. Bring the other leg up there and pull it up to yourself as much as you can. So you're getting a good torso twist and you're stretching, still stretching this bent leg, but you're also stretching the front of the leg that you're pulling up to yourself. All right, now you're going to set this leg on the ground behind you, curl it so it's bent as well, and then you're going to turn and just rotate a little further so you're more focusing again on that torso stretch, your trunk mobility. All right, now lean forward and away, reach up above your head and then over your head so you really stretch all along your sides here. And one more time, fold over. All right, come back up. So let's see if we can remember that sequence on the other side. So fold the opposite leg under. First, we're going to sit back, stretch our core out a little. Take nice deep breaths. Now fold forward. All right, now we're going to sit up, slowly walk those hands up, grab that other leg. Twist towards yourself. All right, now you're dropping that leg and then twisting just through the waist. Right now you're leaning away from that leg. Remember, bring your arm up. First just hover over your head for a second, then go ahead and reach all the way so you really get that stretch through your side. All right, slowly come back up. Sit here for just a second. All right, now we're gonna put our feet together. Just do a basic toe touch here. So kind of work your way into it, kind of uh, never bouncing to reach into a stretch, but you can kind of push into it where you feel tension, let off just a little bit, and you'll find that you're able to go a little bit further each time. Those muscles kind of warm up and start to give All right, now slowly lean back up. I'm gonna pull those feet in. First, draw them in so your soles are pressing against one another and you're nice and close. Your feet are tucked in nice and close to your body. Then keep a straight back and just lean forward so you feel a good stretch through this hip socket. Do a little bit of neck roll while you're in here. All right, kick your feet out just a little bit further. Lean forward again. 
You're still keeping your back flat here so far. Right now, out a little bit further, and this time you can lean in as much as you need to. So you should still be feeling this in your hip socket, but also a little bit through your outer thighs as well. Definitely your lower back. And one more, we'll go straight again. Lean into it as much as you can, without any pain. Alright, slowly come back up. I'm going to tuck our feet under. And place one hand on the mat and reach up. You can get a good stretch even staying here. If you want even more of a stretch, press up through that hand. Now take it down to this other side and go all the way around in a circle until you're alternating sides. So start slack on this side all the way around until you can set your foot back on the ground. So you're kind of doing these rounds with your arms while you're stretching the front of your core again. And really kind of just let that arm dead hang so it's stretching that whole circle. One more on each side. Right. All right. We're going to lay on the sides, on our sides, on the mat here. So, you're going to take your toes, point your toes, you know, all the way up as much as you can. And then back down. Now pull it back as much as you can. Grab that foot. Get a good stretch through the front of your thigh here. So one more time. Put your leg out straight. Tip it all the way up. And slowly lower it back down. And come back for that quad stretch. Actually, let's go one more round with that one. From here, up, slowly back down, and then pull. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. So, go back to that leg lift, toes pointed all the way up. Back down and come back for that stretch. Back out, the leg lift. One more. All right, now we're going to roll up flat on our backs. So first we're going to do a deep glute stretch. So bring one leg up, fold the other leg over top, and then grab behind the thigh of that leg, the straighter leg. So you should feel this um, in your glutes and all along the backs of your thighs here. So you can kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Changes the stretch quite a bit. Just move gently. Smooth. Okay, 
Okay, now switch sides. Alright, now we're going to let both of those legs back down. Bend one leg back up so your foot is flat on the ground. Point the toe of that straightened leg and you're going to pull up as far as you can and then flex your toe so it's pointed back at yourself. So this should really intensify the stretch right here. You can even just stay here, flex and point a couple of times. So especially when you're, when you're pointing it, you might feel it through the front of that shin a little bit. And then when you pull your toe towards yourself, you should feel all these muscles in the back of your legs uh, light up. So if you have to stop here, that's totally fine. Just do what you need to. Alright, now bend that leg. Pull it in by itself. Straighten out that other leg. Kind of roll around in this hip socket a little. And now let this leg fall open. So it might not be able to, you might not be able to get it to the ground. That's totally fine. Just do it so that you feel a nice stretch through that inner thigh. Only as much as you need to to feel a stretch. And now pull it back in. Straighten it back out and lower that leg back down. So we're gonna do that on the other side, so draw that leg in. I'm gonna bring this other one up. So once we get there, we're going to flex and point. Just alternate back and forth. Try to pull that leg in as much as you can up towards your, your face. Alright, now we're going to bend that knee, and again, just kind of roll around in here. Find any tense muscles, just kind of work gently through that range of motion. Alright, now again, you're going to let your leg fall open, so you get a good stretch through that inner thigh. leg back in. We're going to bring both legs in. Come up and hug your knees. And then lay back out. So right here I want you to keep your knees bent and just kind of rock back and forth on your back there. Rock back and forth on your hips. And you might find that you're hearing some popping. Maybe your bones are popping back into place. But just nice and gently kind of like these little S curves up and down. Um, like a an S curve through the top and bottom of the range of motion that you can rock on your hips. I know it sounds really strange whenever I'm having back pain, uh, which is not very frequent anymore actually, thanks to I think strength training and stretching, but uh, this always helps with any kind of back tension, so just nice and slow, kind of zigzagging your way onto rocking to the bottom to the top of your hips. So just take your time. Do what works for you. All right, come up and hug those hips one more time. And relax. So this time we're gonna bring our feet to tabletop and we're gonna drop just one leg at a time. Try to keep a 90 degree angle through those knees 
nice and slow. Just barely rest that foot there. Try to keep your back flat on the mat and make sure to breathe. So if you want to breathe for Pilates, you're breathing in and out per repetition. One more on each side. And we're going to straighten our legs out. So right here, we're going to straighten, extend those legs. And now we're going to drop just one leg at a time from here. So I'm going to drop slowly towards the ground and come back up. So you're not resting on the ground. You're just barely tapping your toe, maybe just hovering there. Come back up for a stretch in between each repetition. So you're coming all the way down nice and slow. Come back up. And when you get here, pull both big legs back so you feel a nice stretch to the back of those thighs. And slowly drop back down. All right, one more of these on each side. Flex your feet up towards yourself, pull those legs in, hug upwards, now extend one leg, keep the other leg bent and you're going to rock over to the side, get a good torso, tra uh, torso stretch, so try to keep your shoulders flat on the ground and just roll over as much as you can so you get a stretch through that side. Do the other side. All right, let that relax. I'm going to come back up, sit just cross legged here. Nice and relaxed. So I want you to relax your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath. Now we're gonna roll our heads from one more time. Just go nice and slow around from one side to the other. Take that chin back down. Let's go back and forth a couple times. All right, so one big shoulder roll back. One big shoulder roll forward. Do that one more time. Alright, now get your arms out, extend your fingers, really stretch, come up over above your head. Lean from side to side. Now collapse forwards, and stretch through here, tuck your chin into your chest. Slowly roll back up and take a nice deep breath and you are all done. So make sure to drink lots of water after this, even though we haven't really sweat, it's just a good idea to stay hydrated. Otherwise, good job guys, this workout is complete.